Uh, the Mad Hatter. Uh, is this like a, a level of fashion that I'm not aware of, or is this just for attention? Uh, you do this every day. So what's your name? That's it? I thought it was going to have some pizzazz to it. Last time I seen dress up like this was Farnsworth Bentley. Listen to that name. Like, My name is Charles. People call me Chuck. <laughs> Charlie. Where, and what where, where part of you out here in IE? No, I'm in LA. You in LA? You drove in that shit? In the hat? <laughs> like, this shit, he gonna kill me in this outfit. <laughs> when did you start adding the baseball gloves? That's the part that's <laughs> me up. <laughs> Jesus Christ has dreads. Stand up, man. Let him see you. Serial killer. <laughs> I'm the fashion strangler. <laughs> Last thing you see is a necktie. Like, oh, no! <laughs> Charles, mother. <laughs> Does that help you get or? <laughs> you ain't got no bitches? I got no bitches, I just dress up. <laughs> Is anybody else curious what he finna be for Halloween? I... <laughs> That's how you dress up every day. What you gonna be, a hot air balloon? <laughs> you got any ideas what you gonna be for Halloween? You know what you should do? You should just dress regular. Everybody that know you gonna be like, Yo, Charles, get me here with a fade and just Nike's on. He's like, I can't never dress regular, baby boy. <laughs> How long you been dressing like this? Since you could, huh? Why you checking with him? Who is this? Why does he know when you started dressing like this? Is this a relationship? Huh? Yeah, okay. That was gay. I don't know why y'all were looking at each other so much. He looked at his home, but How long have I been dressing like this? How long? James, how long? How long? <laughs> James, tell me how long I've been dressed like this. Shit, I don't even know when I started getting dressed like this. James, you know when I started getting dressed like this. Shit, he remembers my first bow tie. <laughs> y'all best friends forever, huh? How, when did y'all start being homies and shit? Since y'all kids was born? Oh, you got kids. And somebody gave you some <laughs> That had to be back when you weren't dressing like this. You was dressing like this and somebody <laughs> you, bro. Like you'd be like, excuse me, uh. I'd like to impart my phone number upon you. Yeah, 909. <laughs> she was like, oh shit, bitch. This top hat is fire. You get butt naked and put the hat back on, don't you? <laughs> now, you can't see me without my hat, baby girl. You know? <laughs> uh, damn, how many hats you got, bro? Seven? Damn. It's the so every Tuesday, same hat. <laughs> I think I had a day. You got a church hat? What do you wear on Easter? <laughs> so it's a top hat. Every hat's a top hat? <laughs> Are you Mexican? No, just wanted to wear some bro. It's La Raza, huh? <laughs> so you didn't like T Pain, huh? You're like, this go all my shit. <laughs> Charles, where you work? This <laughs> said I'm a landscaper. <laughs> <laughs> Did you imagine this outside your house? <laughs> a 
motherfucker weed eating with that shit on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody wear no shit like that. <laughs> but I like it though a little bit. I'll be honest. Because it takes confidence to pull that off. There's people in here wearing shit they see other people wear because they're not confident enough. And you don't give a fuck no more. <laughs> what if aliens come and they abduct this? And he's our example of humanity. <laughs> I'm like, leave Earth alone, nano, nano. <laughs> we pulled Charles in the plane. He done fucked all the aliens up here. <laughs> Landscaping, huh? Yeah, damn.